What's up, y'all? Uncle Shady here with another reaction. Um, I asked for uh, asked everybody to tell me what what uh, Deuce songs are like the most original. Um, so I'm going through a couple of them. The last one wasn't bad. Uh, Bleed, not a not a terrible song at all. Uh, pretty pretty catchy and poppy. Didn't sound like Aaron wrote it at all, but cool song. Now this is uh, Miracle. Let's see what it sounds like. So Aaron's uh, Aaron's pretty deep into Scientology, right? And um, so the big thing about Scientology is psychology is bullshit, and that their psychological therapy doesn't really work, and it actually makes things worse. I guess um, so. That's a funny little jab at mainstream psychology. There, um, you can see uh, throughout the lyrics of Hollywood Undead and Deuce. Um, I, I see them all over the place, but, but uh, Scientologist lyrics or lyrics that are, uh, you know, little, little Scientology um, facts or beliefs pushed into a lot of the music. And then they completely contradict themselves by talking about doing drugs and stuff. Um, but anyway... Uh, I'm a These, you're not an anarchist, Aaron. <laughs> these, uh, these vocals are pretty bad. Like, not good. <laughs> Scientologist. Or at least at some time he was thinking about it. This is a pretty, I mean, if he wrote this, which it kind of does, this sounds more like something he'd write. Not musically, but lyrically. Um, this is obviously him, Deuce being honest. Um, you know, when I, I had problems with Aaron because Aaron had problems. Um, so, you know, Aaron had problems with the rest of the guys in Hollywood Undead because Aaron had problems. Not saying that everyone's perfect and Aaron's a piece of shit. Every, nobody's perfect, but Aaron had some serious problems. Has very serious problems. So this sounds like him actually being honest um, and writing some real shit instead of just complete nonsense. It's good to see that he actually, you know, was thinking about this and was just not completely oblivious the whole time. Because <clears throat> when I was hanging out with him, he was completely oblivious to his problems. And unfortunately, when you have problems like that, and you end up in a band that gets big... Um, that doesn't help those problems, and um, usually it makes them very, very much worse. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. this is just like an anti Scientologist. Or this is a pro Scientologist song. This is basically. This song is Aaron needing therapy. <laughs> but his <clears throat> religious beliefs, Scientology, not allowing him to get that therapy. A big, like I said, a big part of Scientologist Scientology is that therapists and, and psychotherapy is complete bullshit. So if you have a mental health problem, that's where Scientology, the Church of Scientology has gotten trouble in the past um, when people have died and people were isolated and basically held uh, against their will um, who had mental health problems people that are in the church who had mental health problems. And, um, you know, the church has gotten trouble before because of uh, a lot of these beliefs. So this is, to me, knowing about Scientology, because I'm not a Scientologist, but all of a sudden I was in a band with a bunch of Scientologists, so I learned a lot about it. Sonny Moore, Skrillex, the homies, Scientologist, Evan Thomas, 750, 700, you know, like all those people that I knew and met, um, through Aaron, which is Drell and all HU, through Aaron, through Evan, um, they're all Scientologists. So this video, this these lyrics are funny because he's talking about how he doesn't need therapy, um, but he does, uh, and and then it's like this anthem again, anthem for Scientology, uh, which is like, it's obviously. A good message you should you know looks you should always you shouldn't abuse drugs <laughs> and Jarrell I mean Jarrell Aaron's basically telling people not to abuse drugs here but he's also telling people that therapy doesn't help and therapy is just talking about your problems and therapy always helps um, but he's kind of pushing these Scientology beliefs onto into his lyrics so more projecting from Aaron so I'm a bum but you're homeless yourself the biggest loser of them all living in that flesh I don't and and I mean it's just it it's kind of mind-blowing you know because he ended up homeless um, you know or maybe he saw himself spiraling you know uh saw his life spiraling and knew that that was going to end up happening and this is him talking to himself about it um or arguing with himself about it because you know his parents are scientologists he was grown and grown up in scientology and you know he needs help that scientology can't get him but his beliefs aren't allowing him to go get that help and now you know he's living under a bridge in portland <laughs> St. Clair, is that Matt? Is that Matt, Matty, Matty? Matty, uh... Matty Guitar Hero drums? <laughs> what? This, I mean, this kind of, this, this sounds, I mean, when Aaron left the band, he, there was some footage that came up of some live show, Aaron and some band, and it was horrible. So, um, you know, I don't know when he started doing this, but this, this is definitely better than I thought. 
it's still a kind of a strange song, but really long too, Jesus. I mean, the whole thing with Hollywood Undead was that it was going to kind of like, it was like kind of a metal band, but like, this sounds a lot more uh, metal <laughs> than most of the Hollywood Undead stuff. Well, the Hollywood Undead stuff has like chunky guitars or kind of cool drums in it, but this is like a proper metal song, it seems like. Um, Aaron was just, you know, around some, some talented kids at the time. <laughs> This song is way too long. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, see, this is all Scientology stuff. Um, and it's all ironic and sad because Aaron, you know, is obviously understands he's got problems, but he doesn't know how to fix them. Um, he says, I need to learn how to communicate. Um, you know, therapy is communication. Therapy is talking to someone about your problems who's a positive influence and having them help guide you to make the right decisions. Scientology has a problem with this. And again, we're seeing more Scientologist lyrics. I don't know if you guys knew this shit. I know nobody knew that Hollywood Undead was Scientologist before I started talking about it, but it's pretty funny. Oh my god. Another chorus? <laughs> this is two different songs put together and uh, made into a really long song. Because there's like several choruses and several like a two bridges and this is a strange song and Aaron's always had kind of strange like he's always arranged his songs kind of strange and it sometimes sounds a little bit generic um because it sounds like you know kind of like people are sitting down having to write that are being like forced to write music and so they you know the, their heart isn't so in it not saying that this doesn't sound like it has its heart in it. It's just, I don't know. Another chorus? <laughs> and you know, I, I actually remember this being a problem. Like where it's just like, whoa, dude. You know, that's way too many choruses. I know you, you think you sound dope in it, but you don't need to have repeated choruses over, over and over and over again. It's way too long. Five minutes. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Is this like the ninth time this this chorus? Oh my god! See that? See the drums in this song? Sounds like a uh, almost knife called Lusty, which is kind of cool because, um, you know, the whoever made this music with Aaron, you know, was kind of paying attention to um, that music, um, which is, you know, in my opinion, the best Hollywood and Dead music, the first eight, seven or eight songs. Um, 
which is kind of cool. But like, you know, if, if Hollywood and Ed so did a song like this, I'd be blown away. Um, but the, it just doesn't, I don't know, it's just different. This is like a proper, you know, two guitars, a drummer, a bass player, a singer, you know, like it's a proper band. And I feel like there was always something kind of missing with the heavy Hollywood, the newer heavy Hollywood one dud stuff. Um, they like had two drums for some reason, you know, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. And they always felt like there was something missing. This sounds like more of a full band. Maybe HU does have stuff like this. I just haven't heard it yet. But that song was way too long. Holy crap. Um, yeah, so, you know, it sounds like Aaron knew he had some problems. Um, but this song just seems like an argument with himself, an argument. He's arguing uh, with his parents. He's arguing with L. Ron Hubbard. He's arguing with the Scientology, you know, because obviously they didn't help him and they didn't figure out a way to help him because he's begging his fans for money right now living on the streets and, you know, uh, he's got felonies and f fighting people, f tried to fight a woman and, you know, like obviously has problems and obviously the church of scientology failed him but anyway i'll see you guys later peace